thank you very much, Costas, for agreeing to this interview. It's a great honor to be able to talk to you today. Uh, it's a great pleasure uh, to talk to you, especially. Tell us a bit about your background. You're from Greece and you seem very proud of your Greek heritage. Can you say a few words about that? Yeah, so I grew up in Greece. I grew up in Athens, but uh, so also my family is from Crete. The Crete also has a very pronounced uh, identity within Greece. So yeah, so I'm, 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 you know, I'm proud to be Greek. Also, I'm proud of the you know, heritage of Greece in mathematics. Right, so speaking of mathematics, you're, you won the award uh, for your work in algorithmic game theory. So can you give us a sense of the subject, why it's important, what the major problems are? So algorithmic game theory is a field within uh, computer science that uh, is basically looking at problems in the interface of uh, computation and game theory and economics. The motivation for the field is that a lot of the um, market activity these days has been transferred to the internet. When uh, markets are developed, uh, not overlaid on the internet, you have to uh, pay attention to both uh, computation as well as uh, strategic interactions to design systems where good outcomes arise. And uh, that was really the motivation for the, that, that field that looks at the computational uh, 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 underpinnings of, uh, you know, game theory and economics. Right, and uh, you've done a lot of important work on finding Nash equilibria. So can you tell us a bit about that particular bit? of? So game theory develops uh, uh, tools to predict uh, strategic behavior in a, in a strategic environment. In a system, I have to make a choice, uh, then you have to make a choice in response to my choice, then a third person has to make a choice in response to our choices, and then maybe that will give opportunities for us to also update our strategies. And this cycle could be going on and on and on. So Nash Equilibrium is trying to capture a state in which the system stabilizes, so to, so to speak. Uh, let's consider a road network. In a road network, each of us has to choose a route from their work to their home. So it could be that, you know, like, the Nash Equilibrium has horrible traffic on the roads. But it is an equilibrium if nobody can improve his own experience by changing their choice. So that's an example of an equilibrium. So now, what we have studied is how long it will take until the system will arrive, uh, uh, discover its equilibrium. And what we showed is something uh, that you know, might have been unexpected, that it may take uh, you know, a lifetime of the universe before a system, a complicated system, arrives at equilibrium. So what this means is that you shouldn't always trust the Nash equilibrium prediction uh, uh, about uh, strategic behavior. You've also done work in mechanism design. In that area, there are some very counterintuitive results. Can you give us an example of that? So, I mean, so first of all, uh, mechanism design is uh, often called reverse game theory. What does that mean? Well. Uh, sometimes, you know, in game theory you have a system that's already in place and you're trying to understand it. In mechanism design you're trying to design a system so that the right uh, outcomes arise after people strategically interact inside your system. Now, in mechanism design, you know, there are cases where indeed there are, you know, counterintuitive results. Uh, there is, for example, you know, like a well-known non-monotonicity uh, property of markets where you know like sometimes it could be that you know like you prefer to sell uh, uh, items in a weaker market and you will actually get better revenue from a weaker market than a market that is stronger there are situations where you know like selling your goods in a market with richer people will give you less revenue than uh, selling your items in a market with uh, poorer people so what's next for you in your research? My research will continue the trajectory of uh, trying to understand the computational underpinnings of game theory and economics. But also, uh, I'm very interested, and that, that has been an interest of mine uh, throughout my career, I have an interest in uh, randomness. And uh, 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 in particular, you know, I'm interested in uh, probability theory and uh, statistics in high dimensions and also the mathematical and computational underpinnings of machine learning within artificial intelligence. Uh, as more and more fields uh, collect data uh, and trying to distill from that data interesting uh, um, in information, uh, you know, this uh, line of research is going to be becoming more and more relevant, uh, reaching out to, you know, uh, further away areas that, you know, previously did not uh, have uh, uh, 
uh, statistics and computation in them. That all sounds very exciting. Thank you very much for this interview. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs>